Today, welcome to GTA Online. There is a whole lot of stuff to check out. In fact, we are checking out two cars today and a brand new location. So I'm actually on my way there right now. This area is a car club. It does require GTA Plus, so they've once again got me. Listen, I, I cancelled it and then I wanted to check this out. So, hello? <laughs> Excuse me. Right, this is the Vinewood Car Club, which... Uh, it's not in Vinewood. <laughs> As you can see, this is not Vinewood. Uh, Vinewood is... Yeah, it's up here. Um, either way, let's see what this has involved. I, I actually, I, I don't, I know, I can't remember. I remember reading something, but here we go. The Vinewood Car Club will regularly receive new and exclusive vehicles for GTA Plus members. So, it seems like car dealership. Members can use the vehicles from here or have them delivered to this location via the vehicle interaction menu. Wait, we actually just get them? Oh my god, there's one of the new cars we're going to be checking out today. It can be claimed for free. Other vehicles have to be purchased at a discount. Okay, right. Interesting. So what it seems like, an upgrade is available for the Grotty Stinger and how special works. Did not know that. This is also one of the new vehicles, I believe. If I press down, does it say? Yeah, it's a Stinger TT. So if I jump into this... It, it, Oh, wait, inspect this vehicle. So I can drive or purchase. My purchase is 1.9 at a discounted price. I already bought it. Oh my Yeah, don't make the same mistake. I just bought this for 2.3 million. Oh my God. <laughs> if you press drive, you can jump in and I'm guessing we get to just drive this thing. Here it is. All right, temporarily use this vehicle as long as it's available at the Vinewood Car Club or purchase at a discount to keep it. That's actually really cool. So it's like test drive. They've taken like a test drive approach so you can check out cars. I, I'm a big fan of that, actually, especially if they add the new cars there, because that could save me some money. <laughs> I did just notice as well my car was still outside, so I could use that, maybe park it up. I might actually need to test that. Let's test this. This is honestly one of the most exciting vehicles in the longest time. It's weird because I don't like SUVs. 4x4s are okay, and, and so, you know, this fits into that category, but this is clearly the Mitsubishi Pajero. It sounds like it's a bit my Batsu. I mean, come on. They do some really sick versions of these. Let's uh, drive it. This one you can actually claim for free, which I bought, well, I bought the normal one for free, and well, now I can get this one, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, it's quick. So if you jump out, you can have two cars on the map at once that is so sick they're two of my own cars i mean they're not i mean it's not mine but you get the idea you know the gta colors are kind of broken i asked for yellow <laughs> it's game in orange so this is clearly the ferrari roma a brand new car in fact i actually don't know really anything about it it, it looks kind of plain it looks kind of naff however it has a house special work so we're definitely going to check this thing out we're also going to check out the pajero we will come back to that but this vehicle could be equipped to the agency with a whole bunch of things pretty cool let's check it out so this is it's an old man Ferrari. I, I don't know how else I can explain it to you guys. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's for old boys that pull up. Look at the wing. But this is such a sick update. I, I know it's a mercenaries update, but of course I'm focusing on the car section of things because that's what we do here. We car channel. I mean, game chat. Yeah, vehicle chat. Maybe I could do the plane one. I want to try the planes. Since when is this here? There's like a checkered flight. I'm kind of comfy. I don't remember that being a thing before. But we're going to go in here because, again, how is available. Rest in peace, Benny. You have been killed once again. They've also updated this section here. And would you look at that? Incredible. That's the HSW version? No way. No way. And for those interested, you're very welcome. That's the, the prize car. Right, let's get started with the Grotti Itali GTO Stinger TT. Possibly the worst name they have done. We got the How Upgrade. Let's smash it in. You ready for the next level? I am. I am. My, my wallet may not be, but that's absolutely fine. Right. Let's get this thing breaking. Let's get this front bumper customized and see exactly what got. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more than that. I'm going to be completely honest. Anyway, the fuses, the rear end is definitely what needs the biggest uplift. I think something just a, just a little bit more aggressive, not too crazy. The uh, I like this. That I would like the carbon to match. What well, that'll do. Engine upgrades. This thing is going to be pretty quick. Again, I do consider this very much like an old boys Ferrari. Oh, that is spicy. 
We got grill customization. You know what? Thank you, because I cannot stand this grill. I think it's naff. I think it looks really cheap, really, <laughs> really nasty, to, to be completely honest with you. But now he looks a little bit too happy, doesn't he? Whatever. We're going for the house. We got hood customization to go along with it. Y yep. Pretty cool. Oh, we got 20 hoods. Yeah, that I didn't expect. However, I kind of saw the ones I wanted to go for pretty quickly. It's got to be the one with the view into engine bay. We got the horns, of course, lights customization, liveries. This will be good. We got stripes down the middle, which again, basic, but really works with it. We've got blue stripes, red, yellow, A. We got the flag of power, speed, and very fast cars. The camo, we got this half and half with green, interesting, and the howl wrap, two howl wraps. So I feel like. I'm gonna be really basic and go with the Italian stripes. Right, plate customization. Here we go. Let's put the Panther plate on there. Side skirt customization, 22 options. That's pretty good. I'm always so happy when GTA cars start coming back again. I think it's, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's exciting, all right? It's exciting. I want a little bit more toned down, but something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Splitter customization. Oh, there we go. That's why the front bumper was so confused. I was like, is that all we're going to get for the front bumper? Come on, Rockstar, you're slacking. No, they're doing a, a much better job now. How about something like that looks pretty good? Let's do it. Let's go for the carbon. We got spoiler customization. That looks beautiful. The little lip there. We got a slightly bigger wing. That is just... We got a chassis mount. Let's go. What the hell? <laughs> And uh, exclusive carbon wing. Oh, that looks really nice. The exclusive secondary wing got the house special works wing and another house special works wing. I kind of like that. The house special works wing or this one, the color match one, also look really nice. You know what, actually? I've changed my mind. Keep wasting my damn money. Sun strips. Oh, they're, they're minimal. I like that. I like that a lot. Secondary color suspension. Lower that boy down to the ground. Transmission. Bang. Turbo. Bang. That did nothing to the performance. Oh yeah. The forged star wheels. We'll come back to the color. Window tint, dark smoke. And there's your customization. You know what we need to do now? Look a bit of paint. Oh, the colors are looking good. Oh, it's looking so good. I was thinking either to go for the yellow, like a Ferrari, of course, or we can go for a red, which again, like a Ferrari. Uh, obviously. However, it looks really, really good in red. Ah, uh, yeah. We're doing the Torino red. And the secondary color changes these aspects here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to keep them black, though, because it looks really good. And the interior, yeah, that's going to that's, that's gonna stay. Water machine! Oh, it looks so much better now that I've modified it. I'm not sure how I feel about it being over the old wing. Was that where the wing was? Did it come up? I think it did. It was like an active aero mabob. Oh my God, this thing is floating. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I've already ruined the car. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Really impressed with it though. It, it drives much quicker than I thought it would. Looking at it, it kind of looks like the new California. The California... It's, it's the Ferrari that nobody actually wants. Nobody wants a California, okay? <laughs> How about you? But when I look at that thing, it's, it, to me, it's just not in the same class as any other Ferrari. Not in a good way, okay? This thing likes to pull a slide. When you get the, the clutch kick, it just goes for it. I got some really good slides from it. This is really nice. They've added almost like another layer to the handling. It definitely feels like you can properly counter steer with this. Holy. What have they been doing to this game? <laughs> okay, let's check out the Pajero. Welcome to what is honestly of the two, my favorite. And I never thought I would say that about this, but these things are so sick. Some of the coolest Mitsubishi cars ever made and uh, I, I looked at one for a, about a day and then I was like, maybe not, I have enough cars. So let's check this out in GTA, it's known as the Monstrosity. Pretty fun name, I like that a lot. I'm not expecting it to be. That sounds like a little less throaty than the normal, like 
small four-cylinder-esque sound. It definitely changed the tone of that. I don't think I've heard a car sound like that before, but let's customize it. Something I love about the car, mate, is when you pull up in here and look at that. That is stunning. Why have I not got something as clean as that? Why did I ruin mine? It's something I ask myself very often. Can I please get in? Two videos in one? What the frick is going on? Pants man doing it. Right. How special works upgrade straight away. This thing is gonna be quick now. I only just really calculated that. So brakes upgraded. Bull bars. Oh, let's go. Oh, that looks so good. The heavy duty bull bar engine fully upgraded. Exhausts. Holy. That sounds so nice now. Side exit exhausts. The twins. We're going for the twins. We got the hood customization to go along with it. We can uh, put a spade on the front. We can make this thing like a proper rugged adventure machine. I really like that scoop on the front. However, the normal bonnet is kind of nicer. Let's go for the carbon strip on the front. We got the horn. We got the interior uh, type, but it's not actually showing us the interior. It just cut. Whoa. So we got the stock interior, the racing kit. What the hell? Uh, we got the performance kit. What? And we've got the rally survival kit. I like the performance kit. That looks really, really cool. Livery customization. Let's go through some of these. We got the uh, My Batsu monstrosity. Oh my God. I've got some GTA lore for you. While we customize the rest of this car, this is an audio clip from, I think, GTA 2, 3? Maybe GTA 4. However. Bill and I just had another kid. So of <laughs> course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice. So we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu Monstrosity, mine is bigger. Some GTA lore for you there, ladies and gents. Anyway, the roof box stuff, pretty cool. I like the roof rack. We got skid plates. I love the customization of this thing. This thing is making me want one. Oh, no. Why do I need something like this? I don't. Does it tow? <laughs> Does it tow? Removing the spare wheel looks stupid. Uh, I kind of like the wheel cover. The carbon wheel cover. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I love... This is probably my favorite customization in a GTA car in a long time while can you do secondary color you can we've got the suspension which we can lower however it's not gonna happen why would i want to do that it's it's not for that <laughs> surely it should raise or something we got the house special works turbo upgrade the wheels look good already i kind of don't want to touch them light smoke window panels you can make it a van yes no that is spicy this thing sounds so much more powerful and it feels it too <laughs> this is the best car in gta online let's freaking go <laughs> the launch is so good it just oh no oh no what the hell maybe i should Maybe I should have bought the armor. I had a bouncy on me. Oh, wait, let's me show you a personal vehicle thing. You can bring up the phone. We can now claim all. I feel like that was there before oh, and they removed it. it. But that's, uh, that's a nice feature to have, especially when you've got <laughs> flaps that play this game. So to summarize, this has been a pretty epic update. This feels so quick. Is this the fastest car in its class? Is this off-road? It better be off-road. But if it is... I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I can't control it very well. It's so quick. What an update. Holy crud. Well, that's uh, pretty huge. By far the best car in GTA updates for a while. Well done, Rockstar. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, stay in tune for all of the new cars. I like to cover GTA cars because, again, GTA cars, they top the... 
a man swearing at me. They're very good. Smash like, subscribe, check out the previous video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.